Hello everyone, I'm Simon Rafe. Today is Tuesday, August the 26th, 2014, and here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Cut the dialogue and take immediate military action against ISIS. This from Chaldean patriarch Luis Sarko. The extremely strong-worded statement from Sarko describes the unimaginable slaughter of Iraqi Catholics and Shiite Muslims at the hands of the Sunni ISIS rebels. Sarko's statement harkens back to his November 2013 meeting with Pope Francis where he warned that, quote, immigration is threatening our present and our future, we fear, for our survival, unquote. Now, the U.S. Bishops' Conference is responding to Sarko's statement with calls for continued dialogue and encounters with persons different than ourselves. Help my people stay. This is the plea coming from Syrian Bishop Eilis Sleiman to the Western churches and governments. The Marianite bishop is hoping and praying for his flock to be able to remain in Syria amidst the wake of Christian genocide by ISIS radicals. He is reaffirming that, quote, we have been here for 2,000 years. Christian presence helps Muslims to be moderate. The environment of Islam benefits from the engagement of the Christian faith, unquote. Sleiman is seeking Western funding so displaced Christians can avoid emigration to other countries. Three Louisiana abortion clinics are suing the state over a law that could put them out of business. Louisiana recently passed a law requiring all abortionists to have hospital admitting privileges. Those who do not cannot practice. Now only one of the state's five abortion clinics meets this requirement. The three clinics are challenging the law as unconstitutional because it would force women to travel out of state in order to kill their pre-born children. Pro-life leaders are calling the lawsuit a desperate attempt to justify shoddy medical care. A former archbishop accused of child abuse has been stripped of his diplomatic immunity and will now be facing criminal charges. Joseph Wesolowski will be tried for child abuse in the Dominican Republic with investigations pending in Poland. Wesolowski was found guilty this summer by a Vatican tribunal of abusing young boys. The court defrocked him of his priestly ministry. This is the harshest sentence available under church law. Wesolowski is the highest ranking church official to be sanctioned for sex abuse in the ongoing cleansing of the clergy by the Francis Papacy. More than 20 members of Congress are secretly atheists. This from the American Humanist Association. The American humanists are alleging that at least 20 congressmen have privately admitted their atheism while publicly proclaiming to be Christians. Atheists are rarely elected to public office in the United States and thus many politicians fake religious beliefs to boost their chances of winning a seat. The American Humanist Association says it has no plans to reveal the identities of these atheist congressmen. Pope Francis should declare Planned Parenthood an enemy of the church. This comes from American Life League. The pro-life stalwarts are launching a campaign of prayer and petition in hopes of stopping the baby-killing organization. If American Life League succeeds, any Catholic who supports or works for Planned Parenthood would immediately be excommunicated. Now, to fill out this petition and for more information, see our resource page. The Archbishop of Chicago, Cardinal George, is fighting for his life. The former head of the U.S. Bishops' Conference was diagnosed with bladder cancer in 2006. Now, it quickly began spreading to his kidneys and liver, and now he is beginning an experimental anti-cancer drug. The Cardinal said, quote, This is a difficult form of the disease, and it will most probably eventually be the cause of my death. In January 2012, Cardinal George turned 75 and submitted the customary bishop resignation. Now, this resignation has yet to be accepted by Pope Francis. Of course, our thoughts and our prayers are with Pope Francis and the people of Chicago at this time. I'm Simon Rafe. These are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Be sure to check out the best of Vortex series today when Michael is asking the question, what is a Catholic? As always, be sure to share churchmilitant.tv news with your friends and family. Thanks very much for tuning in today. Check us out on our social media platforms. Check out the rest of the site and may God bless you.